How you doing, brothers and sisters in Christ? This is Brother Jermaine from Glory of the Lord and King Ministries. And I just want to talk to you today about, um, you know, persecution and how Jesus said that your enemies will be those of your own household. So as you continue to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the more you sit at his feet and the more you study his word, you will start to see that everything that the Lord Jesus Christ said will come true. Where Jesus said that your enemies will be those of your own household. So don't be surprised when you repent of your sins and put your faith in Jesus Christ. That your husband that you so loved for so many years is now your enemy. Don't be surprised if the wife you loved for so many years is now your enemy. Don't be surprised if your former spouse is your enemy. Don't be surprised if your son is now your enemy. Don't be surprised if your daughter is now your enemy. Because as Jesus said, that your enemy will be those of your own household. And another sign that you are walking in the light and that you are doing the things that Jesus commanded you to do is if you were being persecuted so you'll notice in the word that you, you have a lot of people in the Christian space through uh, you know what I would like to call churchianity or um, just different uh, false teachings that have or different sayings that have been planted in the mind of those who have been raised or came up in churchianity that Oh, you're like a Pharisee. But they'll throw that out there when you are actually holding them to the commandments of God. When you're actually walking in truth. And that they profess to be a Christian and you call them out on their wickedness. The Pharisees were hypocrites. You are not a Pharisee if you are walking in the light as he is in the light. You know, Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if you are born of the Spirit and you have repented of your sins, and you are holding others and yourself to the standard of God's written word, to the standard of holiness, you are not a Pharisee. They, they've come up with all types of wicked titles to justify their wickedness. Oh, you're being a Pharisee. You're being, um, what's some other things they say? Um, you're holier than thou. It's just all this different nonsense. And then I noticed another thing that I've seen a lot of professing Christians do. They try to use people who were in sin, who were sinners, like the faults of King David before he repented, because his repentance is written in Psalm 51. They try to use what King David did with Bathsheba and having Uriah killed as a justification to mask their sin. And to say, well, well, you know, the Lord used David so he can use me. No, no, no. King David had to repent. And King David knew that if he did not repent, he would end up in hell. So that's not a good, that's not a good uh, example to justify your sin. You know? So holiness is still required. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 48, Therefore you shall be perfect. As your father in heaven is perfect. Colossians 1, 26 to 27. Christ in you, the hope of glory, whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. I believe it's Revelation chapter 3. Jesus said if he comes back and he does not find your work perfect, that he will, basically he will destroy you. So... Just keep in mind, continue to study the Word of God, continue to walk in holiness, understand that hip hypocrites will call you names, they'll call you things like Pharisee, and all, all things, they'll say you're holier than thou, they'll say crazy things like, are you sinless, no one can be sinless, just a whole bunch of nonsense that churchianity has taught people to give a cover for their wickedness. Remember that your enemies will be those of your own household. And King David actually repented of his sins and understood that he was destined for hell if he did not repent. The same thing with Paul. Paul understand that he said, I, we were yet sinners. They were sinners. 
If you profess to be a Christian and you call yourself a sinner, you're condemning yourself to hell. <clears throat> so, in Luke chapter 6, verse 26, Jesus said, Woe unto you when the world speaks well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. It's not to say that you won't have other Christians that will truly love you, because people who are walking in the light and walking the truth will have true love for the brethren. But be very careful when you're put on a pedestal, because most likely in the world we live in today, if you are being put on a pedestal by others, especially the world, and the hypocrite Christians, you are most likely not walking in the light. This is Brother Jermaine from Glory of the Lord and King Ministries. Take holiness seriously. Take holiness serious. And when Jesus said to go and sin no more in John chapter 8, verse 11, he meant it. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Shalom.